so now homeowners and businesses not only have the incentive to reduce their own electricity costs on site at their, at their building, their facility, but they can also sell their excess electricity to an energy company who is required to buy it from them. The value of those SRECs is the highest in DC than it is anywhere else in the country. The idea that we came up with was to develop solar on our rooftop, but instead of using the energy ourselves, or instead of selling the energy, we would find a way to finance it so that we could give 100% of the economic benefits from the solar energy that we were producing to low-income um, residents throughout the community. The energy that we're producing is going to result in reducing the energy burden of our low-income beneficiaries by approximately one half. And it may not seem to be a lot of money to us, but $40 to $50 a month is a lot of money in the pockets of our low-income residents. That can make a big difference. That can make a difference for school supplies. It can make a difference for providing um, recreation. It can be a source for buying food, quite frankly. So what we do is we match the accounting credits that PEPCO has calculated for us with our beneficiaries. We work with PEPCO to set up a subscription program. We get the meter numbers of our participating beneficiaries and we arrange that every month they get a credit on their energy bill equal to their pro rata share of the energy that we're producing. You know, you might ask why you know, two lawyers are interested in, in doing this sort of thing. I think Herb and I, we both, um, have had such long practices that have been rewarding. They've always been focused around social impact developments. And it's our way of giving back. It's our way of leaving a legacy. It's our way of providing a model towards something that is really for um, the good of, of, uh, of society. Mm -hmm.